Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video, man. As y'all see for the title, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make dark, melodic, metro booming, 21 Savage inspired melodies. Um, before I get into that real quick, I just want to appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to the channel and buying my loot kits and stuff like that. Definitely a big help, man. We gained over like 200 subscribers in the past like two and a half months, something like that. It's, it's been a lot. Uh, we're at like 533 right now, I think. The goal was 1,000 by December, January. Um, so yeah, um, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. I'm probably going to look for a pad first and then play out some chords on my piano, or my keyboard, whatever you want to say. Uh, so basically, usually when I have like some basic triad chords, like three note chords, so C sharp, E, and G sharp, um, and then make it minor and just move the third down a half step, so E to D. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I think I already have in mind what I want to do. Yes, sir. Put some RC20 on this. I'm probably going to add a texture as well. A little bit of, little bit of wobble on that joint. Way, yes sir. I don't know how I'm feeling about those being stopped. Actually, yeah, I probably should like have them like that. That has a little bit more bounce. Another thing I want to explain real quick, and this can be for another video as well, but these root notes, you guys may see to like, the the root note of this chord is C sharp, and this one's G sharp, but, so I got the root, the bass note down here is C sharp, but this one's D sharp, and I can do that because it's in the chord right here, so it works, but, you know what I'm saying, so, that's that. I'm gonna add a bass go into this free drum kit that I have I'll have the link in the description um just go ahead and get a bass this is all like over a thousand drum sounds of just stuff that Metro used and Southside used and stuff like that um let's get the bass I'm gonna hold it turn on the attack turn up the hold decay sustain and release just follow the bass notes of this guitar bro definitely one of my favorites a nice little counter melody something that you would hear on like during during metro's verses he'll switch them up a lot of the times he'll switch up like every eight bars will switch some shit up but i'm gonna go ahead and add in half speed going to grow speed i'm terry go to half speed create automation clip um skirt I have this as the verse of course i'm going to rearrange it but normally this would like be the hook this would be the intro or but it's, you know what i'm saying so find a little counter melody Savage on that. Add some pan, man. This is a free VST. Oh wait, no, never mind, I capped. <laughs> uh, go to 
wide bar. Slow, put down the width a little bit just so it's not as crazy. Save this so it doesn't crash. I'm gonna add like another like little counter melody or something, just add some more spice to it. Whoo, I thought that shit was gonna crash. Hell nah. Okay. Key. Alright, let's see what this sounds like. Oh, 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 that shit. Yeah, CPU going crazy. Okay. Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna layer it with a string for the outro. That's what I'm gonna do. Go to the string. Bishop. this up real quick Uh, right here, this is uh, an augmented chord. Whenever you move the fifth up a uh, half step, that's called an augmented chord. Um, this would be the third. This is the first root uh, position note, and then this is the third, and then this is the fifth. I used to always get confused with that. My piano instructor would tell me, I was like, wait, wouldn't that shit be like the third? Or? It's like, nah, because if you look, it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to teach y'all a little something. So that's an augmented chord. You know what? I kind of want to take these out. Just these ones. And then make it an art and just give it some more flavor. into a wave file real quick actually
add one more little like counter melody, just a nice little lead. export this laid out the way that I want it might add some little textures or something I got ahead and I went ahead and uh, arranged it the way that I wanted it. Got the intro, hook, the verse, and then it's just a little outro or switch up, whatever anybody wants to do with the loop. Um, and then whenever you're making these loops, what you want to do is like make sure you put the BPM in the uh, title of the loop. So go like 140 or yeah, 140 BPM and then key C sharp. So that way the producer that you send it to or whoever has the loop can just work on it super quick. They don't really got to think or anything, which is major key in my opinion um and then yeah uh that's pretty much how to make a metro loop i'll go ahead and um export this out for my new loop kit i'm gonna be dropping very soon so stay tuned for that also um gonna be dropping out on mr bank soon as well so make sure to like comment and subscribe uh let me know what you guys want to see in the future man but what i need to work on uh still getting into this editing stuff and recording stuff so just comment below what y'all want to see and what i need to work on and improve on um so yeah Appreciate y'all for watching, man, and peace.